The meeting will now come to order. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the And the rockets ring clear, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled band yet wave o'er the land? Welcome to the 60th commencement exercises for Berkshire Community College, the first community college in Massachusetts. We celebrate the class of 2020 in a unique fashion, and we appreciate your joining us in this very special virtual ceremony. Thank you to the Berkshire Highlanders for your very special and celebratory musical opening. Thank you to Monica Bliss, current student at BCC, for that beautiful rendition of the national anthem and thank you to Sheriff Tom Bola for opening our 60th commencement exercises. We thank our Board of Trustees, chaired by Darlene Rodowitz, who will soon be conferring your degrees and certificates for their leadership and commitment to our college. And we acknowledge members of our foundation and alumni boards who support us in innumerable ways. Our students are at the center of all we do. Our talented and focused faculty and staff commit every day to supporting our students on their educational journey. We will celebrate three faculty for each of their decades long teaching careers, each devoting their careers to student success. Each year at commencement for Berkshire Community College, we celebrate the achievement of those who are graduating, but we also celebrate their persistence. We acknowledge the obstacles they have overcome on their way to crossing the stage at Tanglewood in front of their faculty, their family, and their friends. Of course, we celebrate your achievements and your persistence. As with the classes before, many of you are juggling one or more jobs with your classwork, raising children, and caring for relatives. Some of you are completing your degrees after years after you wanted to. Some of you are struggling with personal challenges without surrendering to them. We are in awe of each and every one of you. You are our heroes. But for the class of 2020, we also celebrate and congratulate you on your resilience. So many of the expectations you and we had for your final semester, this has been upended. On top of all the obstacles you would ordinarily have overcome, you also had to deal with completing your coursework remotely distancing yourself from faculty and college staff whose closeness is so important. Perhaps losing your job, your child care, and maybe even the security of having food and a place to live. And yet, here you are. Okay, so maybe not here, maybe there. Graduating with the class of 2020, you earned your degree because of persistence and resilience. People are judged most accurately, not in easy times, but in difficult times. You all pass the test, not just of meeting the high standards to earn a degree or certificate at BCC, but in doing so under circumstances no other class had to deal with. As if that weren't enough, many of you are participating in your commencement physically separated from those who would normally have attended, those who supported you and helped make this day possible. You may not be able to give them a hug of thanks today, but please give them a call or a Zoom when this is over and tell them how much their support meant to you. Finally, 
you are all invited to join all of us, the faculty and staff of BCC, our boards, and the class of 2021 at the Shed at Tanglewood on June 14th next year to walk across the stage in front of the crowd you deserve as we recognize you again for what you have accomplished in this extraordinarily difficult time. I look forward to seeing you then. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to introduce Adam Klepita, Interim Provost, who will introduce our valedictorian. Thank you, President Kennedy, leaders from across Berkshire um, County, our esteemed delegation, and most importantly, the faculty and staff who have directly impacted the lives of these fine graduates over the years. For me, there are two days that stand out as moments to gather and celebrate during the academic year. The first is new student orientation, and the second is commencement. At new student, or at new student orientation, we have the opportunity to tell students how honored we are that they have chosen to learn and grow with us, that we believe that they've made the right choice to attend college, the greatest investment a person can make in themselves, and the right choice to attend BCC. The second is today, where we gather together to recognize the accomplishments of our graduates. As you, as you all now know, BCC is unique as a place of higher learning. You can walk the halls of our campus, or, to, or today, Zoom virtually, and engage anyone who works here and ask these questions. Why are you here? And what is your work about? What makes us unique is that you'll get the same basic answer to positively impact the lives of our students, to create a stronger and mo more cohesive community, and to further learning and scholarship in the Berkshires and beyond. It is the tradition of Berkshire Community College's commencement to select a student as valedictorian, who represents academic excellence, who represents our student body, and who can collectively capture this year's graduates through an address. I am so honored to introduce this year's valedictorian, Denise Foss. As you will soon hear, Denise embodies the transformational power that BCC offers to our students and to our community. Denise's story will resonate with many of us, especially for those of us who may not have imagined ever getting to this day. Denise's story is one that is not unfamiliar to our faculty and staff. It is particularly exciting to recognize a fellow educator and a member of the first ever graduating class of our early childhood education cohort. Denise grew up in a small town and raised a family. Through a series of opportunities, she discovered a passion that brought her to us. And through her time at BCC, her aspirations and self-confidence grew. Our faculty work every day to help students identify, reach, and surpass their goals and their dreams. Please join me in welcoming Denise Foss to share her story with you. Thank you, Provost Klapatar, for the kind introduction. Good afternoon and welcome Board of Trustees, President Kennedy, distinguished guests, family, friends, and the graduating class of 2020 to the 60th commencement of Berkshire Community College. We are certainly living in unprecedented times. Today, for the first time in history, Berkshire Community College will commence at a virtual graduation. Although we cannot be together physically and feel each other's excitement, I know we are all filled with joy of celebrating our own personal achievements. I would like to take a moment to thank all of my professors, advisors, who made this day possible. They continuously made themselves available to answer any questions throughout my journey. And for those of you who know me well, know I ask a lot of questions. When I was feeling overwhelmed, they offered words of encouragement. My favorite was, Denise, you can do this. Don't overthink it. This is just one benefit to continuing your education at BCC, the personalized attention and commitment from faculty. They were as invested in my education as I was. After receiving a call asking me to be valedictorian, 
I started to process some thoughts about what I should share, and many ideas started circling in my mind. I finally said to myself, just tell your story about this journey to BCC. J.K. Rawlings said, it is impossible to live life without failing at something, unless you live so cautiously that you might as well not have lived at all, in which case you fail by default. For me, the academic journey that led me to BCC was not an easy one. I struggled academically in middle and high school and convinced myself that I would never receive a college education. Today, I am overwhelmed with pride and accomplishments, as you should be. This is our graduation day, and we have earned it. After high school, I went to cosmetology school, got married, and started a family. I was a stay-at-home mom for many years with our four children. As the children became young adults, I started to realize that something was missing in my life. Thoughts about going to college started to surface in my mind, and I wrestled with these for many years, but I never took one step forward because of fear. I kept thinking to myself about the what-ifs. What if I fail? What if I'm the oldest student in the class? What if I start the classes and I don't finish them? The what ifs were endless. Now fear is gonna be a player in life, but you get to decide how much. If I had taken this advice from actor comedian Jim Carrey earlier in my life, I might have started my college degree sooner, but I'm not sure I would have appreciated the journey quite as much. It wasn't until 2017 when I decided to challenge myself and start the process of getting a college education. This is something that I had always wanted, but it seemed so out of reach. To do this, I needed to push all my fear to the side, or once again, it would be the obstacle that kept me from my dream. I can remember filling out the admissions application and saying to myself, what are you thinking? You're 52 years old and you're gonna start the path to get a college degree now? Denise, you have literally lost your mind. Luckily for me, BCC welcomes traditional and non-traditional students with open arms. My academic journey through BCC has been rewarding and challenging in equal measure. Making the commitment to obtaining my college degree was the first step, but convincing myself that I could do it was the next. I'm sure my husband would agree that this was an ongoing challenge. Morning after morning, the kitchen table was covered with papers from weeks of studying for a test or just trying to write a paper. There was anxiety about making deadlines and many texts to my cohort friends day or night asking countless questions, emails to professors, and asking my son Taylor to proofread my paper just one more time to be completely honest, I don't think I will ever fully recover from the two history classes. But every class, professor's feedback, and rewritten draft has helped me to push myself a little harder and a little further. I can remember walking into my first class and thinking, are you kidding me? I'm old enough to be everybody's mother. The good news is, is that I was able to push the fear aside and found the courage to go back the next week. I never looked back and I couldn't be more grateful. My experience at BCC has allowed me to move forward in my life. It has also helped me to build my confidence and acquire a love for learning. We might be receiving our degrees today, but these gifts of self are just as important. In 2019, I was invited to be a keynote speaker at an educational conference in Africa. I was thrilled to be given such a wonderful opportunity and I accepted without reservation. A true sign of my new self. Thank you, BCC, for believing in students like me, like all of us who stand before you today who have worked so hard to achieve our goals. I would like to thank my family, friends, our children, and my husband who have been my greatest support system, always expressing words of encouragement. My journey that led to this achievement does not end today. I will be opening another door as I continue my education at Massachusetts College of Liberal Arts, where I will pursue interdisciplinary studies with a focus on children, families, and society. 
C.S. Lewis reminds us that you are never too old to set another goal or to dream a new dream. Congratulations, class of 2020. I wish you the best of luck as you continue to follow your dream. Thank you. Denise, that was a wonderful valedictory address. I met Denise when she began the early education cohort and I caught up on her journey recently. Denise will be a leader in education. We are so proud. Um, we are proud of her work and that of her early education co cohort and all of our students. When appropriate, the college confers the title Emeritus or Emerita on qualified retired faculty who have been recommended through a peer review process selected by their fellow faculty. Emeritus status is an honor conferred on the following faculty to show respect for their distinguished career. Let me begin with Lois Cooper. Lois joined the full-time faculty at BCC in 2009. She earned a BA from Rollins College and an MA from Princeton. Lois brought a lot of passion and creativity to her teaching of languages. This was reflected in the fact that she connected directly with her students and continually revised her courses to engage students with languages and with each other. She motivated students to achieve at a higher level and inspired students to not give up and to persist in their dreams of an education. In her classes, Lois created engaging projects that fostered an understanding of culture as well as of language. For example, one project involved having the students take on the role of being a resident of a Spanish-speaking country. They created avatars. Students would play this role throughout the semester and through this role playing would demonstrate their knowledge of that country's cultural tastes, politics, fashion, and so much more. Such an ass assignment spoke to her gifts as an educator. Lois Cooper brought so much life to BCC as well as to the Berkshire County community. There are many firefighters and police officers in Berkshire County who are better prepared to communicate with Spanish speaking residents because of Lois. In talking with the fire chief and the police chief in Pittsfield, they note how the ability of firefighters and police officers to speak some basic level of Spanish has calmed and diffused potential situations in their line of work. Her BCC colleagues also remember Lois for her commitment to BCC, her compassion for others, her empathy, her intellectual curiosity, her laugh, and her sense of style. Lois has truly made a difference in the lives of so many and has left a legacy at BCC and in Berkshire County. Feliz A. Dadas. I am delighted to welcome Heidi Salmon to the ranks of Faculty Emerita. Heidi joined the full-time faculty at BCC in 1998. She earned her associate's degree from BCC a BS from North Adams State College, now MCLA, an MA from Westfield State, and an MED from Lesley University. Heidi is an excellent curriculum designer. She loved figuring out creative ways of engaging students in the course material. When the English faculty redesigned the curriculum to include the co-requisite model, Heidi was instrumental in ensuring that reading was integrated into the curriculum. She was a master at teaching reading and at designing active learning assignments. For example, she would set up stations and have students move from one table to the next to complete a task related to the book or reading strategy that was being discussed. Her classroom activities were tactile and valued an interpersonal connection while encouraging independence and creativity. This is particularly important when teaching reading. Heidi was an incredibly generous and gifted mentor to other faculty and to students. As a good mentor, she graciously shared her pedagogical techniques with newer faculty colleagues. Heidi also created a really warm and inviting environment for her students and was always a huge support to anyone who came through her door. She had high expectations for her students and students rose to the occasion. Her BCC colleagues also remember Heidi for her personal style. Her sartorial exuberance was one of the real highlights of being in her presence. She made teaching look like something a rock star would want to do, and Heidi was a rock star. Congratulations, Heidi. 
We now recognize Sherry Shear. It is with great pleasure that I recognize Sherry Shear as Professor Emerita at Berkshire Community College. Professor Shear joined the college in 1998 and Berkshire County has been a fitter place ever since. Professor Shear, alumna of Indiana University and Ithaca College, seamlessly bridged athletics and academics, two fields too often seen as distinct. Sherry Shear established physical fitness as a respected degree program at Berkshire Community College. A highly successful competitive athlete herself, Sherry worked to inspire awareness of health and fitness in everyone, no matter the skill level. Always innovative, Sherry introduced, single-handedly it seems, Berkshire County to the joys of pickleball. She was a national gold medal winner and with that came recognition for her efforts and also acclaim for BCC to have been her home during that time. Sherry Sher is a dedicated, passionate, and invested educator and community member taking on leadership roles in searches and committees and collaborating with outside fitness and wellness organizations and entities during her storied career. Professor Shear's commitment to students was exemplary and it will, without doubt, be those students who will carry on her legacy for years to come. What more can an education educator wish for? Sherry enjoys retirement together with her wife and dog living on Cape Cod. Thank you, Sherry, for everything. Congratulations. I'm honored to introduce Beth Wallace, Dean of Students, to present the candidates for diplomas. This is an especially poignant moment for Beth and for the college. Beth will be retiring in August, so this is her last commencement in this official capacity. With our grateful appreciation for her leadership, passion, and compassion, we welcome Beth to the podium. Thank you, President Kennedy. Before we begin, I would like to share a special anniversary. 40 years ago today, I too had the honor of receiving my associate's degree from Berkshire Community College. Today, I share with you your pride and accomplishments that this degree acknowledges. Now the moment that you've all been waiting for, the reason you have worked so hard and risked so much. I will now present the candidates for their diplomas and certificates. Tanisha Rachel Adams. Sarah E. Adrians. Halimut O. Ahmed. Christine Asakan Ahusi. Carmine D. Albanese. Kendra L. Alden, Danalu Aloa Hebert, Kadian S. Anderson, Kylie J. Andrews, Samantha M. Andrews, Dorcas S. Archer, Allison R. Armada, Brian E. Arnold, Jonathan R. Bailey, Colleen M. Baker, Rebecca L. Baker, Emma L. Bartini, Lauren E. Bartlett, Philip K. Baruch Jr. Alana R. Bassett. Cal F. Bassett. Michelle L. Bateman. Maribel Benarski. Nathan M. Bellinger. Sierra M. Berkeley. Andrew W. Bishop, T. Lance Black, Lilith Blackmoon, Megan J. Blanchard, Marie J. Blankson Ate, Luke Antwi Bosiaco, Alyssa 
B. Bolang, Mackenzie Lee Bona, Hunter S. Booz, Courtney M. Booz, Christine K. Barrero, Shirley M. Barrero, Alexandria T. Brandon, Thor Brantley Booten, Allison M. Grassard, Alicia J. Briggs, Haley R. Broderick, Jamie L. Brown, Tyler V. Barato, Laura C. Burgess, Sophia M. Burnell, Mary Bell L. Burns, Catherine A. Burr, Jahira M. D. Dialto, Nicole M. Campos Vasquez, Tyra Vacandia, Rebecca L. Carberry, Rosemary C. Carnes, Tina Marie Carpenter, Sherry L. Carr, Brianna M. Chilton, Jordan J. Preton, Shane A. Cloutier, Cecilia Kobinaw, Danielle A. Colette, Nancy E. Collins, Brooke E. Kolpeck, Freddie A. Conyers Jr., Jennifer M. Cootie, Courtney J. Corbett, Ethan P. Costi, Suzanne J. Cotton, Jeffrey R. Crozier, Ronald Cruz, April A. Curtin, Dakota L. Kersinger, Jana R. Cushman, Anthony P. D'Angelo, Samantha M. Davis, Robert P. Dean, Courtney C. Decker, Christopher E. D'Elia, Christian T. Demanby, Sarah A. Deming, Marla Denise, Anna E. Dermody, Alexis A. DeRoche, Kenyarda Michelle Dickerson, James Donovan, Leah P. Dulette, Jesse C. Downer, Jennifer Rebecca Downs, Kayla J. Doyle, Desiree Marie Eason, Hulia Ibayati, Patrick B. Elliott, Angelia M. Elser, Alexandra M. Eli, Natalie E. Emery, Sarah Engel, Sharon E. Ernest, Ariana M. Evans, and Marie Azua, Karen D. Fallenkamp, Candace A. Farrell, Katie M. Farrell, Cameron M. Farah, Taylor A. Farah, Spencer E. Farrow, Mallory B. Field, Catherine M. Forbes, 
Morgan B. Formell, Alyssa G. Ferzano, Denise M. Foss, Jason A. Frazier, Marianne Frazier, Adam B. Frischwasser, Danielle M. Furlong, Richard J. Gagnon III, Kyle E. Gallup, Christine L. Garrity, Shahana L. Gaston, Amy D. Gates, Caitlin Shelby Jelino, Elizabeth C. George, Jared E. Gerard, Jessica Giarolo, Lucy M. Gachui, Michelle M. Jingris, Allison E. Gregory, Lauren C. Gregory, Jocelyn M. Golsi, Nicole A. Haas, Christopher R. Hairston, David T. Haley, Shane H. Hall, Tiffany L. Hartledge, Brett J. Henault, Erica Leibovitz, Jill E. Hersey, Amber Hertzberg, Danielle J. Hickey, Jennifer L. Hickey, Jamie M. Higgins, Blythe A. Hinkley Grady, Casey M. Hopkins, Natalia M. Houghton, Michael T. Harubi, Kong Myatt Tai, Rebecca Hughes, Eric J. Hunker, Amy L. Hunter, John F. Hurley, Summer Jadela, Grace L. James, Rosalie John Louis, Kathleen M. Jodoin, Devon Johnston, Rossi V. Johnston, Angela M. Joyce, Caleb L. Keels, Grace C. Kelly, Teresa A. Kelly, Caleb J. Kendig, Hannah Kim, Jacqueline A. King, Andrea M. Kirby, Madison L. Kittle, Nancy M. Close, Ama Salom Epsi Goran, Jesse D. Cordana, Alexandria Z. Koza, Luba Curtin de Herlongen, Donna M. Kushai, Lane L. Putner, Sophia G. Kraku. Christopher J. LaCroix, Andrew J. LaDuser, Kelsey E. Lane, Johannes H. Lance, Michaela M. Larkin, Zachary M. LaRoque, Ellen Laria, Kate Lawson, Kevin P. Lawton, 
Joshua R. Lieb, Sean C. Leary, Teresa N. LeBeau, Dan Latorno, Michelle M. Levesque, Alexandra W. Levinsky, Alexi M. Licardi, Nicholas M. Lighton, Nicholas M. Lighton Sr., Danielle M. Liss, Cameron S. Lohr, America L. Lopez, Celine M. Lopez, Deborah R. Lusignan, Nicole L. Maloney, Christopher James Manley, Melody A. Marcella, Jill R. Marion, Hannah M. Martin, Robin E. McCabe, Alyssa M. McCluskey, Arden McKnight, Amy E. McMahon, Megan L. Metzger, Marianne B. Mello, Zachary T. Mendel, Nicole M. Williams, Lashika J. Moody, Colleen M. Moran, Stacy G. Morris, Fawn M. Mugen, Marielle Musoy, Israel Raleigh Shatambwa Mwamba, Brandy L. Mujits, Amanda L. Nefreas, Kelsey M. Nixon, Dejaya Nahan, Patricia A. O'Brien, Brittany S. O'Donnell, Jack O'Meara, Dawn M. O'Neill, Abigail M. Ostellino, Morgan T. Otati, Brian M. Palmieri, Tomika L. Parslow, Antonio P. Penna, Katie M. Perry, Courtney Lynn Pato, Jimmy Tree Hall Fan, Samantha A. Phillips, Valencia O. Phillips, Miracle M. Pimentel, Jacqueline C. Polynice, David P. Potash, Nora A. Powers, Shelby L. Proventure, Brandon V. Quayle, Carmen Y. Quind, Aaron E. Red, Cheyenne Brennan Reed, Brendan W. Remillard, Jennifer M. Renaud, Joanna N. Rivera, Cheyenne D. Robert, Autumn M. Robertson, Stephanie J. Rogers, Marcos Rosario Cambrero, Judy N. Sabri, Ernestina Saki, Ronald P. Sage, Jennifer Marie Salgado, Renee M. Seville, 
Kimberly M. Sawyer Wheeler, Michelle A. Schleimer, Gabriella Y. Schaefer, Haley H. Simard, Sarah V. Soames, Caitlin M. Sandrini, Paige R. Speth, Caitlin R. Stalker, Camille R. Stanton, Padraic J. Sullivan, Amanda L. Sweener, Kenesha M. Targic, Amanda M. Tersigny, Lisa M. Thayer, Brianna L. Tooley, Ned W. Torquio, Millie A. Trees, Amber R. Trudeau, Laura E. Tubbs, Elizabeth Twum Barima, Jesse G. Underwood Miller, Sheila J. Valencourt, Juana Valgi, Reagan B. Van Rummond, Cruz A. Vasquez, Alexandra Marie Vega, Lydia C. Vreeland, Olivia W. Wadsworth, Jennifer L. Walker, Shana R. Weber, Caitlin L. Wiles, Emily A. Wood, Kia Yang. Beth, thank you so much for appropriately celebrating each of our students as they crossed our virtual stage. Congratulations to all of our students. I now introduce Darlene Rodowitz, Chair of the Board of Trustees of Berkshire Community College, who will now confer your certificate or degree. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, in accordance with the recommendation of the faculty and the President of Berkshire Community College, and by the power vested in me by the Department of Higher Education of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I hereby confer the degrees of Associates in Arts, Associate in Science, and the appropriate certificates to the graduating class of 2020. Please join me in congratulating and wishing all of our graduates well. To symbolize your new status as graduates, you may now move the tassel on your mortar board, if virtual or real, from right to left. Congratulations. Thank you, Chair Rodowitz. I am happy to introduce Melissa Myers, member of our Board of Trustees, Chair of the Alumni Board of Directors, and member of the BCC Class of 1989 to welcome you as alumni. Hi, I'm Melissa Myers, the current President of the BCC Alumni Association and the alumni elected trustee on the college's Board of Trustees. I'm honored to be the first person to say to each of you, BCC's graduating class of 2020, that it's official. Welcome to the club. Even though our lives feel a bit precarious temporarily, you're still now one of many alumni whose lives have been enriched by their experiences at BCC. No matter what your circumstances, I have no doubt that you've had help to get to this goal. BCC and your support system were there when you were ready and needed them. So I encourage you to find ways to pay it forward so others can reach their goals. As you replace this life goal with a new one, please keep BCC's Alumni Association in mind. At any time during your life journey, we would love for you to take advantage of your opportunities to contribute toward our friend and fundraising missions. It's a great way to network, stay closely connected to the college, and pay it forward. 
If you can't serve on our board, please don't let that stop you from staying connected with us. You can still register as an alum on BCC's website so that you can receive newsletters and get discounts and invitations to free events. Also, in 2019, the BCC alumni began giving out a scholarship specifically reserved for the child of an alum. We are currently working on raising $10,000 so that this scholarship can become endowed, which means it will be able to be awarded without much additional future fundraising. We hope that at some point you might be able to help us reach that goal. The truly exciting thing about your life is that there's no core curriculum. The entire experience is an elective. May the future give you wings to show what you can become and roots to remind you where you're from. Congratulations, and thank you for allowing me to be part of your celebration today. Thank you, Melissa, for those wonderful words of welcome. The High Sheriff of Berkshire County, Thomas Bola, will now conclude the 60th commencement ceremony for Berkshire Community College. On behalf of everyone at the college, I wish each of you success in whatever path you choose. Congratulations. By the powers vested upon me as sheriff in the county of Berkshire, the 60th commencement of Berkshire Community College is hereby terminated. God save the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. Congratulations, class of 2020.